In this video, we're gonna be using Phenomeno Shave Wood Essence and the Blackland Vector in Titanium. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Phenomeno Shave Wood Essence, and this is a soap out of Russia. It's the first time I've ever used the brand, and this comes to you by way of the Razor Company, where I bought it at the Razor Company for $24.99 for four ounces, and on our cost chart there, it's definitely pricey at $6.24 an ounce, painfully pricey, but some of that cost is assuredly due to the shipping from Russia. I don't think I've ever used the soap from Russia. Maybe I have, and I've forgotten, but this will be the first time. The scent on this one is a nice, um, well, let me put the notes for you on the screen. You definitely get a little bit of citrus pop on the front, and then you get a little wood on the back. It is a mellow scent. I would call it lightly scented, not quite to medium. But what I do get, I like. It's a mellow, easy going scent. It's really nice. The ingredients, actually, let's show you on the screen right there. This is a tallow-based soap. And one of the things about this soap, it, it, the consistency is quite firm to the touch. It's You can make it an indentation, but it's firm. Um, it's definitely not soft, so you might get a little better value by virtue of it being a little more firm. Like the label on it, I think it's pretty cool. And so we look forward to using this today. I had no problems whatsoever lathering it and that's great. The razor for today is of course the Blackland Vector in titanium that was sent to me to try out by Shane from Blackland. And I have loved using this razor. I'll put the specs on the screen there for you so you can see the aggression and where it's made and, and all that. This again is titanium, so it's it's pretty light. Uh, the blade is the Schick Proline blade. I've had really, really great shaves with this. In fact, I think the Vector just generally is the best Artist Club style safety razor ever made. Whether you're using the stainless or titanium it is fantastic, or at least it is for me. Blackland List, this one is five out of 10 in aggression. I probably bump it up to six or 6.5 myself, uh, but it's very nice. Expensive razor because it is made of titanium. It retails for $330. And of course, I'll link it below if you're interested. Let's get into the shave. Looking forward to this today, using a, a soap brand I've never used before. And I always enjoy using the Vector. Anytime I can use it, I enjoy it. And we got a nice lather here with our Phenomeno shape. That's kind of a cool name for a brand, I think. Never used it before, so we'll see how it holds up. It wasn't difficult to lather, so that's good. It is pricey. But again, now and then I'll try something from, you know, somewhere else that's a little beyond what I would like to pay. And $6 an ounce is definitely more than I would like to pay <laughs> for soap. But uh, we'll try it and see how it goes. I do like the scent. It's it's a mellow, easygoing scent. When, when, there, when I say there's some citrus in it, it is, but it's just, it's easygoing. It's, this is not one that's a citrus blast in your face. There's just enough citrus to add some brightness and then sort of laying on a bed of sort of woody type uh, notes. It comes together rather nicely for me, but I think without the citrus, I don't think I would care for it. But with the citrus, it makes it very nice. Or at least I think it is. All right, I'm not gonna fool around lathering all day because we don't need to, but we do, we do wanna get it kind of spread evenly on the face here so we can give it a good First try. Again, um, the consistency on this soap is, when I scooped it out, it's almost like a putty. Kind of like remind you of Barbus um, Classic in consistency, which is not bad at all. I sort of like uh, soaps that are a little more on the firm side, and this is that. And that is a good thing for me, because it generally means that soap will yield more shaves. Um, that's just a general rule of thumb. Not always the case, but generally, a more firm soap will will yield more shaves. Beautiful. The vector, once again, just erasing whiskers. What a beautiful shaver the vector is. Whether, again, whether you're, whether you get stainless or, um, or titanium, I mean, that's a personal choice. And if you want a lighter weight razor, the titanium might be for you. If you want a little more heft, the stainless might be for you, but either way you go, the, the razor is um, is very nimble. It feels nimble, I should say, in the hands because it's got a very slim head. So in titanium, 
titanium, excuse me, it feels really maneuverable. In stainless, it feels quite maneuverable as well. Um, because any other artist club style razor you use has a pretty big head on it. Um, but the Vector is sort of the exception to that. Now there's the other razors that are sort of inspired by the Vector that also have slim heads, but none that I've tried are as good as the Vector. It really is a fantastic artist club style razor. Uh, that's nice. It just, uh, it's hard to describe or it's hard to put into words why I like the Vector so much. Um, it, it's absolutely one of my favorite razors of all time, of all the razors I've tried. It's definitely, it would be in the top, among the top selections of my all time greatest razors and that's whether you're using stainless or titanium. The stainless or, tit or titanium choice is mostly about, for me, about weight, I think they both shave in a really great fashion. And I do look forward to uh, using them side by side when I get home. And I will get there eventually and then we'll, we'll do some of these comparison shaves that I've been promising. Man, very nice. That's just nice and enjoyable. It's a great way to start off your day. Or at least I think it is to have a fantastic shave and just have that time to yourself to enjoy, you know, or, or enjoy with your friends as I am here. Um, but I tell you what, I really enjoy it. All right, let's get into pass number two here. And we'll do, a, you know, lately we've been doing more two pass shaves, which I found to work just fine. I'll do a little shaving on residual slickness to sort of touch up. But for the most part, we've been doing two passes just to expedite the videos because I don't have quite as much time because I have things to do in the morning. But uh, I've been enjoying the shaves nonetheless. What Whatever time I am shaving, I'm enjoying it. That's that's really the, the key. The soap is uh, performing well here. No irritation or anything on the face. You can see there's good hydration in it. The lighting here is not as good, so you can't see the... Uh, the sheen on the lather nearly as good as you can when I'm home, but trust me, it's there. There's plenty of hydration in this lather and uh, it's very nice. See that? See how it, how it just hangs there without falling off? It's right on the verge of falling off, but doesn't. That for me is, is uh, when the lather is best for my purposes, which means there's plenty of hydration, plenty of residual slickness. It should be very nice. I don't find that most soaps lack slickness if you get them lathered properly. I think it's always a, I think it's always a question of how well you lather the soap as to how slick it is. Um, some might be marginally slicker than others, but of all the soaps I've used, um, I have found that when something wasn't slick, it, it was generally me and not the soap. If the soap isn't slick, there's usually something wrong. There's not too many soaps that aren't slick, uh, at least at a basic level. Some might be better than others, but just about all of them are gonna be slick. I mean, you can take hand soap or anything, shampoo, you know, um, almost anything, and when you mix it with water, it generally gets slick, almost any kind of soap. So if you lather a soap properly to get the hydration in it, it should be plenty slick enough for in terms of shaving, it should be slick enough. And when I've uh, had issues, generally it's been my fault, not the soap's fault. And sometimes uh, I haven't realized that. At the time I was using it, I was frustrated. But I always come back and correct, correct that later. And this soap is certainly plenty slick enough. No problems whatsoever. It's got a nice, pleasant scent. Again, it's a little pricey, but... I don't imagine it's inexpensive to get uh, soaps to the United States from Russia. So I imagine some of the cost is in the shipping, which you know if you ship things is not inexpensive, especially international shipping. It is quite expensive indeed. And here's our residual slickness pass, just going sort of across on the cheek. And as you can see there, the razor's sliding really beautiful, no drag whatsoever. 
And so there's plenty of uh, residual slickness there, which is exactly what I'm looking for in a soap. So, so far from Phenomeno, no quality problems as far as that goes. At a base level, it's giving me everything I need, and so that's great. All right, let's press on with the other side here. The vector, of course, doing its work in stellar fashion or allowing me to do my work in stellar fashion. Very, very nice. I think this is maybe the fourth use on this blade. How many times have I used this vector since I've been here? Four or five times, I can't remember, but um, I've enjoyed using it every single time. And normally I wouldn't use the razor this many times. You know, I like to, in close proximity to another, I like to rotate around, but quite frankly, I just can't stop picking up the <laughs> vector because I enjoy using it so much. I've neglected some of my other razors since I've been here. But, but you know what? It, it's new also. People want to see it. So here you go. And to me, I always say this. It kind of reminds me of a squeegee for your face. You know, it's uh, it's got that thin head, kind of like a squeegee. And it's kind of what it f feels like on your face, too. It's like, you know, when you have that squeegee on the glass, it's super smooth. You know, and you're just pulling it down the glass and it's kind of similar with the vector. And when you do it, it's just erasing whiskers. And so that to me is, uh, makes it quite enjoyable to use. And again, we're going mostly on residual slickness here with the Phenomeno. And so I've had a good experience so far with the Phenomeno. It's definitely pricey, but I think it, uh, it certainly hit the mark today. I enjoyed the scent. I enjoyed the overall quality of the soap. It gave me everything I needed. Is it a stellar, stellar soap? I don't know, to be honest. But it certainly gave me everything I needed in my shave, and that's mostly what I'm looking for. And it did it with a pleasant scent, which I'm always looking for. And so I would say, overall, I had a decent first run with it and it was quite enjoyable and ultimately that's the key is it enjoyable is it fun if so use it and if it's not enjoyable don't no reason life is too short to use equipment you don't enjoy in my opinion all right let me rinse and then we'll come back get into the post stay tuned and all right we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to remove the soap then we applied our razor rock alum no stinging so that was a super smooth shave no nicks cuts creepers weepers irritation bubbles troubles really outstanding shave following the alum we did a cool water rinse and we towed off with our lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's magic because it's made by witches had an excellent shave today with phenomeno shave wood essence it's probably a little pricey for what it is but it is a decent soap um lightly scented really nice scent i think so if you've never tried a soap from russia and you want to try one you know give this one a shot wood essence i thought was nice and enjoyable i did enjoy it the blackland vector in titanium is fantastic in my opinion whether you're getting a stainless vector or a titanium vector it's fantastic it's one of my favorite shavers of all time big thumbs up i just love the vector it's one of my favorite razors by far <laughs> of all time uh we also use our a P Shaco brush in the Lancaster brush soaking mug, our Captain's Choice bowl here with our lather in it. We're gonna finish things off today with the Razor Rock Emperor there. We're still trying to kill this bottle. And this uh, Razor Rock Emperor, of course, smells like a Creed Aventus, which will be nice. I really like that scent. Oh yeah. And now we are ready to have a great day and I hope wherever you are, you have some great shapes and you have a great day as well. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.